Well, for more on the race for the White House, let's go to John Raines in London. He's a political risk analyst at the think tank IHS. John, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, pollsters predicted that uh, Hillary Clinton would take Michigan by double digits, something like 20 points, and Bernie Sanders has now taken it by three points. Are you surprised by this result? Well, I think a lot of people are surprised by the result. I think most of the polls had her up anywhere from 10 to 15 points. Some, one even had her up by 20 points. So I think there is some surprise there. Some groups that we didn't think were going to come out in the numbers that they did certainly came out, and certainly the polls were off. And, uh, John, how does uh, Bernie Sanders' win in Michigan change the momentum for the upcoming primaries in delegate-rich states like Ohio, Illinois, and Wisconsin? I, I, I mean, is, is, is Hillary Clinton still a sure thing here? Well, I, I think that, I mean, certainly she has advantages in the superdelegates, and she certainly has advantages in the South, and those can't be discounted. But what Sanders' victory does is it changes the narrative of a race that's basically wrapped up. It does give him momentum into those states and whether he can carry that on into those big states, like you said, like Ohio and Florida and some of the others. And if we turn now to the Republican race, the Republican establishment is, is trying to derail Donald Trump's nomination. But with him being so successful in these primaries, are their efforts likely to produce any kind of result? I am also pleased to be here. Well, they're going to have to coalesce around a particular candidate. Right now, they're still split between two, Marco Rubio and John Kasich of Ohio. And the big question here is what's going to happen on the 15th of March, right? Those are winner-take-all states for the Republicans. Kasich has to pull out a victory inside Ohio. And Rubio's campaign is needing that Florida victory for him to be able to just stay in the race. Political analyst John Raines in London, thank you.